hi and welcome to my channel so there's really good news because the pay is going to be increasing for certain workers in the uk look if you're in the uk right now the last year has been incredibly challenging it's been really difficult with the high prices you know inflation you go to the supermarket it's like the things that you used to buy for like 50 pounds right now you need like 150 pounds to buy those same things and going to work and coming back home has become really expensive as well so the government has kind of listen to that well hopefully and they are going to be having a pay rise for many different workers across many sectors in the uk so in today's video i'm going to be telling you who is going to be benefiting from this pay rise how much is going to be and really what it all entails so this is obviously good news and we hope that this is expanded across all the other sectors and professions and even the jobs that are already paid um more because even if you're earning more it's always welcome obviously there's a pay right so if you're new to my channel you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber as you know i appreciate your time if you haven't subscribed to this channel take the opportunity right now to join the family don't be a stranger on here hit the subscribe button so you're the first person to be notified every single day when i drop a new video on here at 10 a.m prompt uk time yes i do drop a new video on here every single day also i have a free newsletter where I send information directly to your inbox so you're not reliant on the yo yo YouTube algorithm for such vital information for your personal and professional growth. So I share information about free visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK. So if you're wanting to move to this beautiful country or you're already in the UK looking to switch your visa so that you find those opportunities, those jobs that are offering visa sponsorship so that you can switch or move to the UK without spending thousands of pounds, without getting in debt, you know what I mean? And without getting bankrupt so if you check the comment section below you're gonna see a link to my newsletter it's not going to take you 20 seconds to join you drop your name and email and you're part of the newsletter you're also going to find my contacts on there so if there's anything that you're like hmm I always worry about XYZ you can see my whatsapp number as well as my email address on there to contact me directly if there's anything that I haven't covered in today's video that you want to ask about but before we get started what do you think about the pay currently that you have so it doesn't matter whether you're in the uk right now or you're out of this beautiful country how much do you earn or better still are you happy with how much you're earning you know how much do you think is an acceptable amount for you to earn and be like oh my god this is worthwhile so drop any comments in the comment section so that we can see and it also helps some of us that you know are looking for other opportunities in order to explore to see what else is out there so when it comes to a pay rise who is going to be getting a pay rise so the first thing is that the uk minimum wage is going to be increasing so the government is going to be increasing the minimum wage to 11 pounds this is really huge because i remember when i just moved to the uk it was just about was it seven pounds or something you know just over 10 years ago and i think this is one of the things that really prompted me to, to get into nursing because I started my own journey, you know, my UK journey as a carer in a nursing home. And when I looked at how much I was earning, you know, in my early 20s, I was thinking to myself, look, I cannot earn this amount for the rest of my life. This is not enough. So th with this and every other thing, you know, my interest in career progression, I decided that, you know, I was going to study nursing. So study nursing just in order to be able to earn a lot more. So I know that there are people in this position that are thinking, hmm, what else can I do? What else is out there? this is going to be helpful so again carers are going to be getting that pay rise you know just over 11 pounds per hour which to be honest with you it's significant because if you look at the fact that many companies right now are paying carers just over nine pounds per hour if you can get to you know or close to 11 pounds as your basic pay it makes a massive massive difference and one of the best things working as a carer you know in the uk is the fact that you've got those unsociable hours so if you do night shifts for example or if you do weekends you do bank holidays in many companies you're going to be paid a lot more by the way if you're watching this and you're wondering um obviously my name is melvis i work as an advanced nurse practitioner for the nhs here in england which is the most senior clinical nursing position i have a private career coaching program which I've dropped a link in the description box below. So I offer personalized guidance with career progression in the UK. You may want to get into healthcare, get those career jobs, get your nursing pin number. You want to get into, you know, apprenticeships where you can study nursing for free without, you know, paying any tuition fees. And in fact, you'll be paid about 24,000 pounds per year 
to become a nurse, I offer personalized guidance with getting those apprenticeship opportunities here in the UK. Also, free visa sponsorship jobs so that you're not spending thousands of pounds, you're not spending millions of money, you're not getting into bankruptcy in order to get visa sponsorship. Because if you get the guidelines, if you know how to apply, where to apply, who is recruiting, who are the legit employers, it's going to save you a whole lot of stress. So I offer personalized guidance with all of that, as well as work from home opportunities, side hustle ideas, because look, I'm on a mission to retire by the time I'm turning 40 so that, you know, I'm able to just live that independent life and just enjoy before actually, you know what I mean, getting to the 70 or 80, which is the retirement age. That is way too long and that's way too far. So again, if you're interested in any of these things, check out my coaching program, um, which I've dropped the link of it in the description box below. Once you join, then we can get started. So like I've said, carers are getting that pay rise to just over 11 pounds per hour, which is a huge, a huge amount of, you know, progress when you look from where we are or from where we were just a few years ago. So again, do share this with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, and know that if you're working as a carer, it is a journey. I always say where you start your journey doesn't matter. You don't start your journey from anywhere, but it is where you end that really does matter. Because if you're not satisfied with your current situation, you've got to do something about it. You owe yourself, you know, that hard work you owe yourself the decision in order to do more about your situation so that you can live better you can earn more and you can have a more fulfilled life that is something that is absolutely a must do if you're in this country so also people that are working in hospitality are also going to be getting that pay rise and when i say this there is a new hospitality visa that the government announced which they're going to be confirming any time now. You know, they said that they're going to be recruiting 200,000 people from overseas. It's going to be from specific countries to come to the UK, you know, with free visa sponsorship. These people would not have to have a job before they move to the UK. You know what I mean? There's also an age restriction for this opportunity. So again, if you're part of my newsletter, I'm going to be sharing that opportunity with you as soon as the government launches that pathway. If you're not part of my newsletter, do consider joining, obviously, in the comment section below so that when that opportunity becomes available, I can let you know that it's open, tell you the eligibility criteria and who, obviously, can apply for that opportunity. So this sector is also going to be getting a pay rise as well as factory workers. And let me tell you, when you look at the different sectors that are going to be getting a pay rise, you can see that there is a trend. So these are sectors where the UK is really short of staff. They've had massive overseas recruitment in these sectors in the last years. And so also there, there are many disgruntled immigrants that have come to the UK through these pathways, very, very underpaid. And so the government has kind of listened to those pleas and those cries because it's been very highly documented. And so hopefully... This is the response to that. And we hope that this does make any difference and that the pay should continue to improve. So factory workers as well. So if you're working in a factory, you know what I mean? There are factories that do like um, sandwiches, crisps, all sorts of factories in the UK. Again, there's going to be that pay rise as well. So this is just also to encourage more people to get into these sectors, you know, to reduce the rate of unemployment. Because obviously if you pay more, for jobs that don't require any degree or any experience to get started, then you're going to encourage more people to get into these opportunities. So if you're watching this and you're out of the UK, you're applying for jobs or you're in the UK applying, these are opportunities for you to pursue. These are opportunities that are going to be expanding even more in the next six months, as we can see. So again, do make advantage do take advantage of these opportunities make sure you put yourself forward if you've got any challenges do leave them in the comment section below what challenge have you got you know what do you think you need in order to better support you with this process in order to succeed to excel and just to to get to where you want to want to get to so again these are the sectors really that will be getting that extra pay right but obviously, the national minimum wage is going to be increasing in itself, which is a good thing for those um, low-income earners. In fact, the government says that this new scheme is going to help 2 million people, like 2 million people who are low earners, which I think is great. But like I've said, you know, people that are earning a lot more <laughs> also need a pay rise. So again, 
I don't know what your situation is, but um, if you need to get in contact with me, do feel free to do that. Check out the channel. I've done all sorts of videos about different types of opportunities to move to the UK, apprenticeship opportunities in the UK, career progression opportunities in the UK, side business ideas that you can get started today, even with no money. You know, work from home jobs that you can do without any degree, any experience, very highly paid opportunities. So again, you want to check all those different jobs out. But if you need my personal tailored guidance, then consider joining my coaching program, which I've dropped a link in the description box below. And then I'll be able to give you that one-to-one -one support in order to make sure that you know where to apply, how to apply, your CV is put on, you're ready for the interview when it comes and you're the best candidate. So again, thank you for your time. I'll see you in this other video that I've linked up specially for you just to give you more information about these opportunities that are available. I'll see you in